Jenkins here. I am so glad you could join me. I am here to do my March favorites. Yes, I know I'm just a little bit late, but bear with me, girlfriends. I'm still getting to it, okay? I don't have a lot, but I have a few that I have to tell you about, especially since spring is sprung, girlfriends, okay? And I want to get right to it, but first of all, I want to tell all of you that are visiting with me today, I would like to invite you to scroll on down and see that subscribe button. Girlfriends, hit that subscribe button. That means you'll be a member of my tribe. I just love you forever. And then, of course, the next thing you see, that little bell. Go ahead and click that bell. It'll be notifying you of all my upcoming videos. And I generally film two a week, sometimes three. Okay, so let's go. This is March favorites, girlfriends, and I'm excited. I'm always excited. Okay, let me touch on what I'm doing for my skin. Huh. Please, everything I can. I mean, with uh, all the meds and everything I'm taking, my skin is drying up. I mean, it's shriveling. The texture is really rough. I'm just having a heck of a time. So, I have already shown this before to you guys, and I get it off of Amazon. This is the Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Cream, and this has got 12% glycolic acid in it. Honey, please. This is saving my butt. This is saving the crepiness and dryness on my arms, on my legs, my back, everywhere else. And then, while I'm primarily concentrating on the upper torso with my Alpha Skincare Renewal Body Lotion, then I am also using my retinol advanced firming cream it's got the pump here now both of these i have in my amazon store i think and if i don't you can get them on amazon i'll leave you the links okay this got all the ingredients you love it's just fantastic however i do want you not to use it every single night because it does have some alcohol now the type of alcohol it is is not really bad it's the type of alcohol that it helps all the products mix together however a product or two after that is going to cause the alcohol to act up a little bit so i'm just telling you but i've had no problem with this and i've been using this for years okay i've noticed no dryness as a matter of fact with this retinol cream it is attacking everything i've got thank you <laughs> Because I need it. I'm trying to get my skin ready here. Well, it's 86 degrees today in Dallas, okay? So, we have hit spring. This is our spring temperature. Um, and it'll be hot, I mean, in just a few weeks. And when I say hot, we'll start, you know, jumping to the 90s and 100s. So, we don't have much time to get ready. That's why we really prepare ahead of time. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about... And now that we've kind of covered that lotion, I have a lot of people always ask me, do I self-tan? Absolutely not, I don't. And the reason I don't self-tan is I don't really need to. I mean, other than it makes you look about 15 pounds smaller. If I'm going to a function and I need to tan quickly, I'll get a spray tan or have my other girl that I use come over and spray me from here, this kind of thing, for a certain event. But I generally don't, I never tan my face. If I'm going to do any kind of tanning to the body, what I will do with the makeup is mix a darker color with a lighter color to get the tone that I am at that moment. Are you following me? But other than that, I don't get much. I am is trying to stay out in the sun at least 15 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes, so I can, you know, keep, you know, raising my vitamin D. I'm on prescription now, and they doubled it. So, I'm, I'm going to try to stand outside. Maybe I'll get some color, you know, what would be so pretty. Like the younger girls. No, like we used to be when we were younger. We had it going on. Yes, we probably ended up with a lot of us with skin cancer, but let me tell you something. You talk about tanning. We wrote the book on tanning, okay, girlfriends? We boomers just did. All right, backtrack. <laughs> I digress. You know, I'm all over the map here. But I want to talk to you about a new foundation. Now, I... I have always worn in the past, as far as my Chanel, you all always know I wore the Vital Lumiere, and they discontinued that, 
and then they uh, got another Vita Lumiarian, and it's the a fluid detente, hydrant, eclat, uh, radi moisture rich radiance. Okay, I just wore this in my last video for the first time. And girlfriends, I don't like it. No, I don't. Yes, it was a little radiant. I didn't find it to be moisturizing that much. I didn't even, I don't know. There's something about it I didn't like. And I'll tell you what happened. This is probably why I didn't like it. It's so, it's so strong in scent, in a rose scent. So strong. I swear, I, I felt like my nose was in the garden the whole time. The next thing is, when I took off my makeup, at the end of the day, I was totally broken out in a rash all over my forehead and down the sides of my face. So, I don't know if it's the, the fragrance in here, obviously, or something. It didn't mix with me. I am going to have to take it back. And, and I'll, I loved my Chanel that I used before. I don't know why they can't find a, a good, you know another one that they can make with the same ingredients. Now, I do know there's another one out there, but it is more of, it's more matte and not radiant. And it was pretty drying when I tried that. So that didn't exactly work for me either. As a matter of fact, not one thing that Chanel had worked for me, which is unusual, very unusual. I've worn Chanel for a hundred years. Well, not a hundred, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm surprised. But this is going to have to go back. And the scent knocked me out, let me tell you. I mean, once it was on, and I, you know, I had, to, it was in my last video, I just did, in case you want to check out, you know, the video again. But it's just, I mean, it broke out all over the place. I mean, I said, what? It was like a horrible reaction. I know it must have been that fragrance. But like I said, it went on smoothly with a beauty blender. I had no problem. But, and, just didn't work for me. Okay, the next thing I'm absolutely loving, I ran out of my uh, Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. Now they've got it in these big containers, which I'm not too crazy about, but, you know, what am I gonna, you know, gonna do? I gotta go with the flow. They can't always do it Sharon's way. But the thing about it is, though, this, it, this doe foot is enormous. You know, I kind of have a problem with that. See how big that is? Look at that. And and here, though, you just need one, two dots under your eye. And then it takes a while just to smooth it all out. It is that rich and that thick. Now, I will tell you this, though. I mean, I had no problem with any lines showing through. It didn't cake. And I always take my damp beauty blender, put it in my by Terry Hydra Powder and blot under my eye to, you know, to set it. So, I guess I'm just going to have to get used to the big doe foot in the container. You know, I was so used to my smaller one because you just pull the wand out and dot, 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 you know, a few more dots, so to speak. Or raking it down your nose. This big doe foot, and I mean, it takes so very little now that it's in this container, I'm letting y'all know in case you don't use it and you're going to try because it's the most fantastic concealer ever. I mean, it's so much more moisturizing than my uh, uh, shape tape was. That started drying out my eyes. And the NARS mm, still didn't do the trick. But this, this puppy did the trick and it's more moisturizing. But this, this container and this size of this doe foot, you are going to have to be very careful and just minimal. You know, do one first and then try to spread out. If you need another, then do another. But, I mean, that's how little you're going to need of this. Because it's, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it goes a long way, girlfriends, okay? All right. The next thing everybody's asking me about moisturizers, especially this time of the year. Now, the one particular moisturizer that I'm using, that my dermatologist told me to use with all the dryness and everything that's going on with my skin right now, they put me on the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore. Now, never in my life have I seen anything so fabulous. I'm just telling you that. And it goes a long way. It comes with a little spatula. Not a little bit of a scent. Not much. 
And I can't make out what sin. It's not perfumey or anything, but this goes a long, long way. It's a good thing because it wasn't cheap. But um, I'm patting it on my skin at night to seal, and it seems like it's doing really, really well. I'm still uh, switching off, too, and using my Tasha Ageless Cream because that is it's so nice and gooey and, and luxurious. But this, too, is doing, is doing the trick for me right now. And it's just full of lipids and ceramides. And see, if I'd leave my readers on, I'd have my act together. All right. This has got, uh, it's 2% um, ceramides, 4% cholesterol, 2% fatty acids. So you're loaded here. It's the Triple Lipid uh, Restore 242 Anti-Aging Lipid Replenishment Cream. So that's what the girls, I'll have it listed down below for you. And you know my top sellers over there uh, are carrying this as well. I made sure before I showed it to you, okay? So they're loaded for bear in case you want some. All right, the next thing that I'm absolutely loving and I haven't used it in a while, and it was really funny, because I started fixing my makeup about, oh, a week or two weeks ago. I said, I just need some sort of nice spray elixir. And out of the clear blue, I was looking on my tree, and I said, oh, my, there, uh, there's my caudalie. This is another new bottle, because I'd gone through the other one, and I forgot I had another one. So sure enough, yay, hello. And right in between layering, I would just spray this elixir. And this is heavenly. I mean, this is reasonably priced. It is luxurious. You just think you've died and gone to heaven. I'm just going to spray a little on my hand. Oh, it smells so nice. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it feels so nice and cool. But, I mean, it's almost, you would think there is some sort of lightweight oil in it. It feels just like a spray elixir. But this is heaven, and it's great for your skin. It is hydrating, and it has a little sheen to it. I don't know whether y'all can see that with this light. But it's got a little sheen to it. I mean, you can't beat Cartelay. Now, I can tell you this. Being a French product, I don't know how much you all know about France or their makeup, and excuse me, but my eyes are watering today, and y'all have to bear with me, but the French all have this elixir in, in their bathroom on their vanity. This is a must-have, it's an always kind of thing, and um, this is heaven to use, it's inexpensive, and it is gorgeous in between layering. I mean, this is phenomenal. And at night, even before you apply your Retin-A or anything, if you don't want to use your essence, use your elixir here. This stuff is fabulous. And it's so great right before you start applying that first layer of makeup, okay? Heaven, girls. Heaven. And I'll tell you something else. I had mentioned this in one of my videos. What? I don't know if it was last week... Or this week. No, you know what it was in my glass video that I was talking about. That I was putting this beautiful Camilla oil, you know, my fingertips going like this. I have used this so much. So much since I've had it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'm getting low and it's got the gold specks in it. Heaven. I don't know whether y'all can see that. You probably can but it is beautiful, and it's by Tatcha, and it's Camilla Oil. Camilla Oil is fantastic for your skin. Now, I've been sealing a lot of my skincare at the end of the night with this as well. I mean, I will put this on and then put my moisturizer on top of this. So, you do all your skincare at night, then, you know, by the end of the skincare, and you're getting ready to put your moisturizer on and put this on first, then my moisturizer. Heaven. Heaven. You wake up as smooth as a baby's butt. This stuff is fantastic. I mean, I couldn't, I have to have it. Hoff to hoff it, girlfriends. All right, now here I am hopping around a little bit. I want to cover an essence. 
um, I have talked about this two, three, four times maybe. And it's the Snell Mucin Power Essence, the Snell 96. And this is by, I think it's Corsix, C-O-R-S-X. Yes, it is. And I told you, this is absolutely heaven. Now, it's a little thicker than your, you know, average essence. You can see here how it rolls through the bottle. It's a little thicker. It's almost like a, a, a liquid gel type of thing. And it's a little bit sticky when you use it. But, I mean, it dries out where it's not sticky, so don't worry about that. Because I, if you notice that day I was doing that video on the glass skin, I applied, what, almost five layers of this. This stuff is heaven. It is very, very reasonably priced. It is fantastic. I've been using all kinds of snail mucin and stuff and creams and everything for years and years and years. And that's another excellent, you know, night cream as well and moisturizer. Anything with snail mucin, this is powerful stuff. It's heaven and it's affordable, my ladies. And I think I have this in my Amazon store as well. If not, there will be a link down below, okay? All right, my ladies. And you've got to try that. If nothing else, try that. Okay, one thing that I've decided that I'm probably not going to use anymore uh, is the skill, the Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. It's alcohol-free. Now, don't get me wrong. This is nice, okay? But it's got a stinky smell. And I can't describe the stinky because you know how I am about odors and scents. See, I can't figure out what it is. It's just stinky. <laughs> you know, like nasty stinky. Now, not like a toilet or anything. I did. It's. I don't know. It just stinks. I don't think y'all are gonna like it because it stinks. But I'm just saying. This is back heels now. It's a great toner. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's alcohol free. It's lovely. It's got everything good in it. You know, the aqua, the water, the the glycol propylene. The good lord, I can can't read without my glasses here. The extract, the calendula. I mean, it's got everything in it. You know, I mean, it's a great, great toner and very pricey, but it stinks. It's got some sort of smell, and it kind of made my skin feel dry, and it's supposed to be extremely hydrating. I don't know. It could be my skin right now, girlfriends, okay? Okay, but it's a good one. I will tell you that. I mean, that I had no problems with it except the odor. Lately, all my sensitivity, I mean, too much fragrance and cosmetics and everything, I just can't even handle that anymore. I don't think it's my age either. Okay, now let's talk about another thing, getting ready for spring and summer that I love, 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 love. And I have talked to you all about this for a hundred years. See, none of this is really new. But my all-time only only clay mask in the world I will ever, 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 ever use, and I can promise you that, is Guerlain's French Pink Clay Mask. You have seen me demonstrate this. You've seen me steam and then apply this, and I mix the powder with uh, the floral water and make this lovely paste, and I take my brush and brush my mask all over, and I wait for it you know, to just completely dry and then wash it off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this cleans out every pore you've got. All right? Every pore. And I've got big ones all over my nose. And this, I, th and I tackle that honker all the time. This. This is the key. This is the key. Mix it with floral water. It is lovely, smooth. You know, in my giveaway around Christmas time, I gave a kit away, if you all remember, in that box, and it had the bowl and the spoon with it. Had everything. It was so lovely that, um, you know, she gave for one of the giveaways. This is it. If you don't have anything else, steam, steam, steam. Get ready here. It's spring now. Open everything up. Use your clay mask and your floral water. Now, I have Guerlain's discount code at the bottom of my bar. And uh, so there is a discount there for you as well. So feel free to use it. I keep it on there around the clock. Because Garland's my gal, okay? All right. Now let's talk about something that I am so much loving right now. 
Now you know, girls, y'all need to keep me out of Nordstrom's and everywhere. Because Charlotte had some new lipsticks out. Yes, she did. It was sitting right there, and as soon as I came in, my boy grabbed me, said, Sharon, hark, hark, looky here. All right, so, well, then, I haven't seen them yet. Okay, so this is very Victoria. Okay, I'm going to do a little swatch. So you can see that. Isn't that pretty? It's a, it's kind of a mauve nude. It's a beautiful color, absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's breathtaking. But you know, I love all Charlotte's lipsticks. You know, you cannot miss with Charlotte. Okay, the next one is called Super Sexy. And this, I'll show you this color. And this color is kind of pinky, dark mauve, so to speak. It's got some pink in it. This is the color I wore in my last video. Okay, in my last Q&A I just did. This is the color that was on the lips at that time. These are two beautiful colors. You can just knock them dead. You can just kill it. I love them. These are fabulous. Charlotte Tilbury, you cannot beat her lippies. Now... The next thing I want to talk to you about is my new lavender pencil. Okay, on the bottom of my water line, I will always add a flesh color or a pearlized flesh looking color, but I started using lavender. Yes, I have been lining my lower, you know, eyelid in lavender. Oh my gosh, and it took a while to find this, I want you to know. But I did, and I found it, it's a Sephora color, all right? So, Sephora does have it if you want it, it wasn't very expensive at all. But it looks so great, your waterline on your bottom line, oh my gosh. And they've got all different colors, but it is waterproof, and it has the shimmer to it, and it's a lavender, oh it just makes your eyes pop, especially if you have blue eyes or brown eyes. I'm telling you, you got to just be one of the opposite end of the spectrums there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, the next thing is, and I got these from NYX. Let me wipe off my lipstick on this hand so I can demonstrate. Aren't those gorgeous colors? That Tom Ford, I'm a nut, okay? All right, the next thing is I got two of these paint on, kind of, they call them glitter. Okay, so these I thought would be fabulous on your eyelids. And uh, this one is kind of a gold. It's got the little applicator in it. Now this is better I can just tell you this right now, than the Stila or any of those other colors. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I mean, hello. And it stays and it doesn't crack. Do you believe it? It doesn't crack or cake or crack. That's fabulous. And then I got this color, which is a little more copper in it. I want to show you that. And I mean, they just glide on smooth. They don't paint on the applicator. It's just where you just can go like that. Just swipe it on. Ooh, let me show y'all this one. Look, isn't that pretty? And these are called glitter goals. But you know what? They are just as smooth and gorgeous as they can be. And they come in all colors. These are just two that I grabbed. And it's NYX. So, hello. As a matter of fact, I mean, can't you imagine in the summer? Boy, that's not going to come off too easy either, girls. See? Still on there. Mm -hmm. Bear with me. An imperfection, you know. <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> okay. Now... 
last but not least, I've got to share with you. <laughs> to me, you know, I'm real picky about palettes. And I don't like, even though I have five million of them and I have to give them away to granddaughters and this kind of thing, just get rid of them. I do always watch for new ones to come out. I am real, real picky of, of you know, about shadows that I know will last and it'll be kind of universal. I don't like the fads, the kicks, or the bright, you know, shocking colors. I mean, I already did the 60s. We had it all then. So, you know, I'm not about to do that now. So, what I found, and I'm sure this will not surprise you, this is the Viseart, and this is the Petite Pro. It's in a small size. You open it like yay. And you pull this down, you got your little mirror there, your little plastic cover that covers your shadows. And look at those gorgeous neutral colors. Have you ever in your life? Well, of course you have. I mean, they're great. They, this is every cover you could want. You've got, you know, kind of a purpley brown here. You've got a coppery, you've got a gold, you've got, you know, a uh, darker pearlized right here. Uh, almost, you know, with a lot of silver in it. Then you've got, you know, your dark burgundy. Then you've got your, uh, almost your dark ruby brown. And then your light transition brown and your cream for your shell. I love this. This is what I have on today. And I've been wearing the heck out of this little palette. It's Viseart. It, it wasn't that much. I can't remember what. But I got it at Sephora's. But it is the, and I'll put it down below. It's the Petite Pro 1. So it's the more, I guess, neutralized one. I don't know. But all I know is I love it. And it looks lovely. Lovely. The colors are fabulous. It's got the little mirror and it's so nice. I love it. Okay, girlfriends. I'll tell you, these have to be the majority of my favorites today. And I mean to tell you, they all, you know, kind of vary from product to product. And the times when I use them and how I use them is what gets them to rank where I want them to rank enough. But I'll have all of these listed down below. And um, if not, then you'll find them in my Amazon store. But I will let you know down below if that's where they are as well. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me for my March favorites. I hope you enjoy any of these great products. They're all great prices. I can promise you that. And I want to tell all my new subbies, mwah, 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 mwah. thank you, girls. I love you. Thanks for joining me and becoming part of my tribe. And to each and every one of you, I want you to stay sassy, classy, and confident. And give me a big thumbs up on this video.